CoQ10, fat soluble, very poorly absorbed. And that's why you see 300 milligrams or more a day. It c cures congestive heart failure. Cardiologists in the alternative field have said, if you've got congestive heart failure, take at least 300 milligrams of CoQ10 and it will cure your congestive heart failure. If you know what that is, it's bad. Anyway, maybe one of the most important factors in stopping cancer, did you know that? A big, big, world-recognized doctor in Sweden, I think, or Norway, found out that CoQ10 stopped breast cancer. But he had to give it intravenously, couldn't give it orally. It helps in the treatment of Parkinson's disease with glutathione, but yet it's poorly absorbed. What are you going to do about that? Next. Glutathione. That's biggie. I got behind myself, didn't I, here? Knew my subject. Uh, one of the most overlooked nutrients, because it is so poorly absorbed, is the most important nutrient in the treatment of autism. Right now, we just sent 50 bottles to the Autism Treatment ba uh, Center back in uh, Washington, D.C., and they're going to give us a report on that, but also Parkinson's disease, also cancer, all kinds of lung disorders. When I was a, a student, they gave glutathione by oral ingestion in all lung disorders. They don't do it anymore because now we have antibiotics. Next. Resveratrol. Gosh, if I had half of the money that was made on resveratrol in the last six months, I'd be rich. Anyway, the best thing that has ever been studied, including chemo, in controlling cancer. Researchers have indicated this substance in the laboratory was the best they had ever found in controlling the aging process. Con 20 years, 120 years, 150 years, nothing if you're taking resveratrol. They base that on the study of rats next, um, where they have put rats 120, 150 years using resveratrol. But they only told you what happened in the laboratory when used intravenously, not orally. So there's a big problem. Curcumin, next. Curcumin stops inflammation. It stops pain. It stops cancer. It blocks chemical damage of all kinds of or chemicals used in laboratories and everything. It is potentially one of the best medicines known. And that is not me saying it. That is, you look in the research, look on the internet but it is poorly absorbed. If only we could do something to get it well absorbed. Next, nanotechnology is one of the first things that has to be done in order for liposomes to be successful. The particle size matters a great deal in making a liposome and so therefore nanotechnology has given us the ability to take a particle size and make it small enough in order to be grabbed by a liposome. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Next. A liposome is a fat and water soluble substance called a phospholipid. They now have synthetic liposomes that we are playing with that might even be better than the normal phospholipids that are in nature. And if you do it right, and I'm going to show you how, you can have a water-soluble or a fat-soluble substance bound by the liposome go through the gut without ever any absorption into the bloodstream. The bloodstream, because of the phospholipid nature of the liposome, carries the material to the cell. The cell says, whoopee, I've got stuff to make my cell wall stronger, and I've got stuff to help 
inside the mitochondria and everything, and in it goes. So liposomes are very, very exciting to work with. Next. The process of inserting the particle matter into the liposome is the tricky part, but that also has been accomplished. Now you can take an oral infusion of 50 grams or more of vitamin C orally in your own home. Now you say, who wants to take uh, 50 grams? If I'm sick with cancer, I want to take 50 grams, my dear friend. If I'm sick with an infection, I want to take 50 grams. And I want to do it without diarrhea, and maybe I don't have the money to go to a doctor and pay the 500 or $1,000 to have it done in a doctor's office. Now you can do it at home. Next. This is the oral anti-cancer cocktail that I am exporting to Israel and several doctors in the United States are using it. This has been very, very successful and it only contains five liposomes. Vitamin C, resveratrol, curcumin, glutathione, and CoQ10. <laughs> You don't have to rely on just one, but you can have all of these in a single cocktail, taken orally, a reasonable taste, and treat yourself.